Here we continue with my book. Terript Part 1, The Beginning. Chapter 3, Tig's Voyage. Scythus' home world is as bright as a star, shining with an energy that not even he understood. But Tig, one of his first children, saw that there were more stars just like his world out there. They were far away, but still bright enough to be seen. With her Cytonian powers, she plunged into the darkness with great vigor, leaving her world behind. A world where she spent millennia growing on. She did not understand that the vast distances she traveled would greatly decrease her chances on returning home. She just saw a star and then giddily approached it. The concept of a star was not taught to her. She just treated any bright light in the skies like the same. But unlike Scythus' homeworld, which we call Turistan, was nothing like this new star she encountered. It was burning a thousand times more intense than Turistan. It was enormous too. If this star was so large as Tig, then Turistan would be the size of a grain of sand in her comparison. She has never seen such an immense entity in her life. She went closer to inspect it, but then she felt something. A storm of energy she could not handle. She could skip across the surface of this giant world of flames, playing with it. But that is all it was, a giant hot sphere of energy that did nothing but burn. When she looked away, she saw other bright stars, but these were much closer. She approached them and soon realized they were planets just like her own, orbiting a star. All of them had great variety. Some were barren, rocky worlds, some were covered with liquid chemicals, and others were covered in a dense cloud. Tig's insatiable desire to know more about the universe plunged her even further into the star-speckled void. All of these stars had different colors. Some were small, some were big, and some were too dangerous to get close to. Even as a Cytonian, the universe she was faced with had entities that could spell her doom. But yet, there had to be something which would pay off her eternal search for something new. Millions upon millions of stars she visited. She went further and further out, discovering new stars and planets for what seemed like an eternity until she came across a planet that looked quite unique. It had water and land in close to equal parts, and the land had green areas suggesting plants and animals. Tig's, Tig has seen many of these planets before, but sh when she came down, she found something that would change her life forever. She was met with beautiful beaches, but there was an odd absence of animals. Most worlds she visited had plenty of animals around, which either ran away or attacked her. But the very first creature she met on this world was neither. It was fearless, but not hostile. It was curious. This animal had eyes that looked all over Tig. 
their curiosity for her stuck, struck an eerie sense of familiarity within. What was it that she discovered? They very quickly became comfortable around her. They presented her with gifts and things modeled after her. Cards from wood, bone and stone. The fact that these animals could use their intelligent minds to create a figure that had Tig's slim, pointed body was incredible. The attention to details such as her eye on top and the pointy structures on each side of it suggested a great visual memory and fine skills. From all of this fascination, Tig took one of them away. She knew that living things can be easily damaged by even the most gentle hands of a Cytonian. She took up a fine stick and beckoned one of them to grab it and then lead them to a more open and secluded place. One understood her gesture and followed Tig out from the forest and towards the beach. From the beach and towards the ocean, Tig created a pristine pathway made from crystal clear stone. On the end of it, she created a circular platform, which they both entered. The animal could be seen showing visible distress as the platform slowly raced up into the skies. Far above the trees, it came to a stop. Tig approached the animal with a lengthy stare. Tig peered into its mind. Its breathing speeded up and its heart beated harder. The moment it looked away, Tig swiftly moved behind the animal and penetrated its rear neck with very thin fibers that worked their way up and into their brain. With no sensation of pain or even touch to the animal, Tig has much vanished. They looked around and turned their head in confusion but she was nowhere to be seen. They could not even tell that Tig was right behind their head. The platform was completely clear with no signs of a shadow or reflection. With no safe way down, they were stuck up there for what felt like ages. Confusion slowly turned into anxiety before the animal felt a need to jump into the water, they heard a voice. Here you are, Tatra. Here I come, Astig. I see you. We live. The animal, whose name is actually Tatra, frantically looked around. Where are you? Tatra yelled out. There was no immediate response. Tig was still behind her. After a while, Tig said, You do not hurt me. There is no threat. From those words, Tatra felt confused, but there was still a sense of comfort. Her comfort would not last very long. The moment she saw it, a figure as tall as Tatra standing in the middle of the platform. It was slowly shaping into a form that was just like her people, a human. Chapter 3 End